Good morning, Madam President. Good morning. Commissioners, Fire Chief Crowley, City Attorney, LAFD Administration, and distinguished guests. I'm Eric Scott, Captain 2 Paramedic, serving as the Department's Public Information Officer. And today we get to discuss an incident in which a man was about to commit suicide. However, we had some swift and decisive actions of two of our members from Fire Station 52 that directly resulted in saving that man's life. So we'd like to start to please ask Engineer Andrew Kelly and Firefighter Nathan Vonderhart to please stand next to the podium. There's two captains here that will stand with them in support. Now, this incident took place on September 27th in 2021 when Engine 52 was responding and dispatched to a Hollywood freeway at the Sunset Boulevard overpass. Now, while they're en route to that location, they quickly determined that in fact there was no patient at Sunset Boulevard. So they shut down their sirens and they start to travel along Western Avenue. As it crossed over the Hollywood Freeway, they noticed a man that was walking dangerously close alongside the freeway overpass. Now, it's not common for them to respond to jumper incidents in that area over the 101 Freeway. And tragically, just three hours earlier, on the same day, at the same location, another person actually jumped to his death. So unfortunately, at that incident, Engine 52 was already assigned to another emergency call, but not this time. So naturally, our members, they had a heightened sense of urgency and resolve to do everything within their power to not let this person in peril have the same demise. So they wisely decided to keep the emergency lights on, but the sirens off so as to not provoke that individual to jump. They quickly made a safe U-turn. They positioned themselves alongside that member. And at this point, that man had climbed over a four-foot protective barrier. He was reaching behind the railing, leaning far over, looking far down at the busy freeway as he prepared himself to jump. The engine stealthily pulled up, and the second they hit the maxi brakes, both Engineer Kelly and Firefighter Vonderhart jumped off, ran up, put themselves in danger, reached over the railing just before he jumped. They both grabbed the torso and arm of the individual, picked him up, brought him back over the railing safely to the ground. They then made sure not to allow that individual get loose to try to commit suicide again. Fortunately, LAPD, they quickly arrived. They placed that patient, rightfully so, on a 72-hour uh, mental health hold as he definitely was a danger to himself. And then our members performed a medical assessment, quickly treated and transported that individual to a local hospital. So without a doubt, these two members demonstrated decisiveness, courage, strength, compassion, and humanity to a person in turmoil during a stressful and dangerous situation. And because of their actions, this distraught person survived. They received the medical attention that they needed and got a second chance at life. So at this point, we'd like to please read one of the certificates, and it's a certificate of appreciation. In recognition of your bravery and heroic courage while working on Engine 52, your actions resulted in saving the life of a man during a jumper incident above the 101 freeway in Hollywood at the Western Avenue overpass on September 27, 2021. The Los Angeles City Fire Department commends you for your bravery and exceptional efforts in saving a citizen of the City of Los Angeles presented on the first day of August 2023, Kristen M. Crowley, Fire Chief. Let's give them a rightful round of applause. I'll do the comments from here first, and then we'll get a photo. But as you can see, we, we talked about all the, uh, the details here. Uh, again, an incredible example of our people going above and beyond. And I tell you, if we were to sit down with each of the members here, I'm sure they would say we're just doing our job. Honestly, they're smiling because they know it's true. And I'm sure that there was zero hesitancy in regard to doing what they had to do in an individual's time of crisis. So this is one of the many, many, many examples and just one that we even found out about, let alone what our people do day in and day out. Mm -hmm. 
So on behalf of the LAFD, we're very proud of you two. Thank you for stepping up and doing your jobs, going above and beyond and putting others before yourself and your own safety. So thank you for uh, representing the LEFD in the highest manner, and uh, we congratulate you, and we're just so happy that we could commend you in a public forum. So thanks for representing the LEFD. Thank you. Members in the back, commissioners in front, we'll kind of stagger our heads there. Squeeze in. Yeah. 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 Yeah.